Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you something I've been working on for quite some time. Uh, I saw this uh, satellite dish finder or a pan and tilt and uh, I really wanted to look at satellite communication. And then um, I stumbled upon a lot of links where you could see what type of data came from the satellites. And that led me to a, a satellite network called Iridium. I don't know if you've heard about it, but it's like 66 satellites uh, floating around in space that you can use for data communication all around the world. And then I found out that uh, the International Space Station also uses uh, uh, radio frequencies and send images occasionally to, um, to ground, to, to Earth. And uh, if you have a radio, you can pick them up. Um, and then I found out that if you have a, a phone or uh, on your PC also, you can, you can find programs so you can find uh, ISS. And you can see you've got two minutes when it's passing by at 4.23 Thursday to get that image out of the air. And the image is transmitted in a, uh, a protocol or a method called SSTV. I think it stands for Slow Scan TV. And um, the idea is that you, you take a picture, for example, uh, this picture you can see here on my screen with the um, copper uh, tubes here, and then you format that picture into sound, and then you transmit that sound using a radio. So um, I went online and I found on uh, AliExpress or eBay a very cheap model called Baofeng, and it costs, you can see, $20. And uh, I actually have it, I have it here, the radio. And um, and the only thing you do, uh, you have to do is you, you have to convert that picture into sound and then put the sound into the radio. For example, if you if you have here, you can see there are two holes. One is from one is for mic, the one at the top is a speaker, and the one at the bottom is the mic microphone. And then you need to have a cable like this, the jack cable, but um, because we're going into the, the one at the top. Um, no, it's a microphone, microphone cable, that's right. Uh, so you only need to have, I have one here, with this type of jack in both ends. And then you plug it into your Raspberry Pi, if you have such a, a one, or your PC. And, and then you plug the other end into the to radio and you activate something called voice activation uh, transmission. Vox. So, and the way you do that in these radios here is very simple. You just press the menu and four, and then you can see it says Vox, and then you select a, a volume level that it will trigger on. And when sound comes in here, it will uh, press the transmit button automatically. So, to convert the picture into sound, you need some software. And here, I don't know if you can see it on, on my screen, I have um, the Raspberry Pi. And, and the only thing you have to do with commands and install of software is get hold of Python pip so you can install pip modules and then music123 to play a wave um, file into the or out into the speaker that you attach to the to the Raspberry Pi. So you can see I, I, I put it in here and and now I put it into a speaker instead of the radio just to simulate that we are sending it out into space or into air and when you use the uh, the two meter band, which I, I honed in on, well, no, I didn't, but you can use the 144 megahertz. Then you have a range of uh, approximately 100 to 150 kilometers. So you transmit that and then you receive it in the other end, also with a radio of some sort, and then you put that signal into your computer to simulate that. I have a, a, a headset here where we will take the microphone and put here, just like if we had a radio receiver, an extra one. So. To convert the picture, very simple. Just install the, the music once it's free and then pip so you can do the pip install Pi SSTV. And when you've done that, um, you connect the radio and then you only run the Python minus M for module, Pi SSTV, forget all this, and then you just add an image and then a sound wave file that you will get out of that command. When you're done with that one, you play here, this A mixer here I have, I don't know if you can see it, it's just to set the volume to 100%. But then you play it with music, one, two, three, and then the WAV file. It's that simple, really, it is. Um, I will show you how it looks here. 
uh, let me see if I can find the start command. Here we are. So start and then image. That's a script I made that just runs the Python command. It will start converting the image and then it will send it to the radio. And in this case, it'll be the speaker. It will be received in the other end with a microphone here. And then I have started up um, a program here on my computer called MMSSTV. And then we will see this image down here that we are converting and transmitting if we can receive it again. And I will go to this RX tab here. And let's see how far this one got. Oh, it's not finished converting yet, but it will be in some few seconds. Um, there are some settings in this MM SSTV that you can poke around with, but you can see here it says RX mode auto, and you have different ways of transmitting the image. I actually created a website over here so I can upload it to the Raspberry Pi and select different modes here. See, it's not that important. Uh, oh, it's done. And we can hear now, see, the sound. It's coming out, it's being transmitted automatically. And let's see here in the RX, if we start receiving anything. Hmm, no. I think I forgot one thing, set up. And then select the microphone, well, it's selected. I'm not getting any information in, no. Let me just try that one more time. Hang on. Okay, so I'm back. So uh, some program I had running down there took the microphone and headset and and kept it for itself. So this program couldn't hook on to it. But right now it's uh, it should be ready again. So we go to the receiver part. You can see there are some data here. It's converting the image as you can see here. And we're waiting for the conversion to finish so it'll be transmitted via the loudspeaker again there we are and let's see if it works now yeah it does it's it's hard to see here but it will it starts with a lot of uh, white uh, lines here it's it's drawing every line for itself you see And that way you can send data or a picture many hundred kilometers just using radio waves. This uh, Beofang radio called UV5R is transmitting with, I think it's 8 watt, 8 watts. So um, that, that is enough to get these at least 50 to 100 kilometers. And as you can see, the picture looks like the one down here. If you're sending data, you can. it can be hard to get valid data because there are so much noise when you're talking about radio waves and transmission. So you need to have a lot of error correction also. But I hope you can use this. It's a, it's a very cool project and you can start sending out uh, SSTV uh, with a very limited budget. So have fun and uh, give me some comments below if you have anything to add here. Thanks.